Hey everybody, it is 5.45 a.m. and I'm headed to pick up Logan. Um, we are going to drive about an hour and a half to look at this collection. It's in a storage unit. I've uh, been trying to get over there for probably about six months. Finally got an opportunity that we could both do it. Me and this gentleman, he's like a lifetime collector. Um, it's supposed to be like four or 5,000 LPs, 11,045s. So um, we'll probably just after the LPs today, but maybe the 45 next time, but maybe it altered. I don't, I don't know. So we got to pick up a truck and we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. <sighs> nice to meet you. You got some records in here? This is uh, Logan, my, my main guy. And these are your records, man. And a half. Wow, dude, this is wild. Um, we've got some records in here. Got some Dark Side of the Moons. Always good. Dylan, Logan here. Logan's my new guy. Um, he's my new manager here at the shop. So we went out to look at the storage unit collection. Logan, what do you think? 
It was uh, dark and dingy in there, <laughs> but there were definitely some cool albums and yeah. a lot of albums. For a lot sure. of albums. So we got about 4,000 records. Um, we're still going through everything. This week, Logan's kind of been uh, sifting through everything, pulling out some gems and like, so there's so much stuff. It's all in alphabetical orders. Like there's like 30 police albums or whatever yeah. and like yeah. a whole box of Genesis stuff and uh, so what we're doing is we're going through and pricing that stuff and just putting it straight out. Like we usually put stuff in the new arrivals bin, but there's just so much that we're trying to fill our holes in the the classic rock stuff because a lot of people will be like, hey, I want them to look for some Rush, and then they'll mm -hmm. go over there. And there's no Rush, you know. Obviously, it, it always sells. So I'm trying to fill some holes and stuff like that. So I got this lead from this guy like six months ago. And just kind of been trying to arrange a time to get up there and look through them. And he ba basically, you know, said that they were 4,000 rock records. More or less was true, I guess. There, you know, there was some filler stuff. There's like, you know, maybe 300 soundtracks and stuff. But, uh, you know, he did, I uh, found out in the, um, the course of this whole thing that he, back in like the 90s, would, was buying and selling collections and stuff like that. So, you know, probably... 20 something Pink Floyd records. There's definitely some gems in there, so we like to do that every once in a while when we drive. It was only about an hour and a half drive for us, so it wasn't too bad. So, anyways, we loaded the truck down, came home. That's pretty much all there is to it, but um, we're just kind of going through and beefing up the selection. You know, summertime is a little slow, so it's a good time to visit the shop because, you know, things that usually sell really fast are still here. So, um, so yeah, we've got a lot of just the uh, bread and butter classic rock stuff um and actually like uh where's that where's that doors record so there's like the uh we've got i'll just show you some things we have here um it's a kiss double platinum still sealed that's like pretty remarkable this is a doors strange days first mono still sealed um, you know, like this whole stacks, Sex Pistol stuff. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, this whole stacks like Zeppelin stuff. Um, found some like really crazy Zeppelin import stuff. Um, there's like a Queen Jazz that's still sealed. Yeah, some um, European press, Grateful Dead stuff too, like French yeah. and German presses and some Dead stuff. Yeah, so it's like you know, there, there was a whole box full of like. It says miscellaneous on it, but it was like New yeah. Wave, like Depeche Mode and New Order and stuff like that. That's really good. That sells really well. So anyways, all I had to say, uh, we had a lot of fun doing it and we're still having a lot of fun with it and pricing everything out. So if you're in the area, come, come check it out because we, we got some good stuff and we're blowing out um, like some of the lower level stuff might just bypass the dollar bin and we're blowing stuff out in the $10 boxes. So mm -hmm. we'll do a U-Haul box like this size full of records like about 190 to 100 records for 10 bucks so we do that so blow some of the volume out but anyways so that's kind of the story everybody wanted us to make a video on it so i thought i'd finally get logan on camera since he's you know he's he's the face of the business now oh, Lord. so anyways he's out doing he's doing good things um i'll, I'll take you around um so you can see so logan has beefed up this is our new stuff so i'm kind of always in the used department but he's like this is the new stuff so like he's really into the stoner stuff so he's always got some great stoner stuff playing and he keeps a lot of really killer stuff in stock which is great um and then like the new stuff you know he's a big taylor swift uh miley cyrus justin bieber fan so he's laughing at me so um anyways so he keeps that stuff in stock but you know and then so that's that's where we are but this is the collection kind of where it is the rest of it so we're pricing it out and all that stuff and trying to get it out of my shop so y'all come stop by the shop is looking better than ever thanks to logan and we will see you soon